Okay, so let's look at a way that we can share project files that use custom fonts with other designers or developers, or even our clients, say a project transfer. Right, so if your project's using custom fonts, fonts that maybe you purchased, fonts that you, you know, downloaded off a, a freeware site, anything that's not part of the Windows system environment, you're going to need to include those with your project files, right? So if someone else were to open this file, and you can see this, this license plate font, if anyone were to open that and they don't have the license plate font, Windows is gonna substitute this with one of the default system fonts. I can't guarantee that the same height and size and spacing of the font here in this custom one is going to be the same as someone else open. So you really don't wanna work on files that, that you don't have the fonts for. A Couple ways you can do that, first of which is just transfer the file in the project folder. That's always a good idea anyway to have it as a backup. But another way that's actually really efficient for designers so they don't have to install fonts, they might not know how to, is just to embed that font in the presentation. So let's take a look at that real quick. Go ahead and just click the Microsoft Office button and do a save as. And go ahead and I'm just going to, let's call this off two right here. I'll just give it a different version. And down here by the save button, you have a tools button. Go ahead and click that and do save options. And from the options, you wanna select down here at the very bottom under the save option, embed fonts in the file. You have two options right here, the first of which is just to embed only the characters that you've used. So whatever characters you've typed out, that's what's only gonna get embedded. Really, it's the best option in, to ensure that anyone else can make any kind of edits is to embed all characters. It tells you the first one will save you a little bit of file size, but it really isn't much. I mean, it's on a 15 meg file, it's probably one or two megs. Go ahead and just click OK and save your file. And there's your file. So you can see right here, what was the original one? It was about 17 megs, and then with the embedded fonts, it went up to 18 and some change. So about a meg and a half extra. So not a, not a, not a bad trade-off, right, to have the fonts traveling with the project. But keep in mind that, right, with as all software, these, these fonts are software, and they do have licensing restrictions. In some cases, you won't be able to embed the fonts. Microsoft or PowerPoint will actually send up a little warning telling you the fonts um, that you're trying to embed have restrictions and you can't use them. So if you're curious and you want to download a little handy application from Microsoft's site to test on your fonts, you can do that. But in most cases, you know, if it doesn't give you the warning, you're okay to, you know, it's going to embed them correctly. But um, never a bad idea to ensure that whatever fonts you are embedding, you do have the license. Sometimes fonts have license restrictions for the number of users or machines. But in any event, Embedding the fonts is a great collaboration feature and it ensures that other designers can easily work with your project files. So check it out.